and welcome back to Abacet Math. In this video, we're going to look at factor parity patterns uh, related to Diophantine equations. As I was putting together some of the problems for this uh, last problem set, I noticed that uh, this theme kind of came up often in some of these more difficult problems, and it's something we had seen already in the Pythagorean triples generator function. So let's just uh, briefly uh, tackle this, this small issue. Uh, again, when we talk about parity, we're talking about whether a number is uh, even or odd. And the patterns that we refer to have to do with uh, typically patterns involving two factors, say A times B. And we notice often in these types of problems that we're trying to solve that uh, when we have a, a pair of factors such as A times B, we often end up with uh, very common factor patterns of parity involving either an odd times an odd, an even times an even, and we describe that as same parity. or we sometimes come across factor pairs which are even odd or odd even and we describe those as opposite parity and the question comes up often well which of these two patterns is appropriate for the problem that you're attempting to solve and it turns out there's a very simple test for this and it has to do with taking the elements of the two factors that you're considering and simply add them to form A plus B, and then decide, well, is A plus B even, or is it odd? And if it's even, it turns out that that's a conclusive if and only if uh, uh, indication that the two factors are of the same parity. And if the addition or the sum of A and B is odd, then that's a definitive indication that the two numbers are of opposite parity. And it's pretty easy to see this for yourself. If you notice that if A is odd and B is odd, then that will always form an even number, and that indicates that they are of the same parity. And also if they're both even, then essentially the sum is even, and that's, again, this indication of the same parity. And the only way that the sum can be odd is if one is even and the other one is odd and that's an indication that two factors of opposite parity. So it's a very simple test, but it's a very powerful test, and it sometimes comes up in the problems that we're going to attempt to solve here. And probably the most common example of this type of factor pattern is when we're trying to decide how to uh, factor the difference between squares, for example, in which case we have x minus y, x plus y, and we're trying to basically try to conclude a little something a little more insightful about these two factors and one of the tests that we can do is this test that we just described take the two factors add them together and you find out that that's equal to 2x and that of course is an even number and from that we can conclude that the two factors must be of the same parity so again it's a very simple test but often very powerful so in this example the x squared minus y squared can be broken up into two factors. We can conclude that the factors must be of even parity. And so uh, if we find that we're trying to solve a problem where that is equal to n, then if n is odd, then that indicates one thing. If it's even, then it indicates that not only is it even, but since the factors are of, odd, of the same parity, that it must have a factor of 2 here and a factor of 2 here. So if it is even, then it must also be a multiple of 4. And that sometimes is an important finding. So again, I just wanted to mention this uh, brief uh, topic. And uh, with that, let's uh, head on into the uh, problem set. Good luck. Bye.